ASEAN, Dr. Lim Jong Hoi, ambassadors, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. At the 35th ASEAN Summit in Bangkok last November, President Joko Widodo reiterated Indonesia readiness to support Myanmar in resolving the issue of Rakhin State. President Jokowi also conveyed his hope that progress in preparing of receiving them back in Rakhin State must take place. Time is not on our side. The IDBs have suffered more than two years. And as part of our commitment, Indonesia has recently completed the construction of hospital in Braku, Rakhine State, and has handed over the hospital through bilateral channel to the government of Myanmar. We hope that the hospital will contribute in providing greater health assistance to all the people in Rakhine State. Furthermore, it can also contribute toward the reconciliation process. Indonesia has also established Indonesian Agency for International Development Aid as part of our increased contribution to global development agenda, including in Myanmar. Moreover, as part of ASEAN effort four days ago, I met Dr. Lim Jokhoi in Madrid, and we discussed about future engagement of ASEAN. I had also the opportunity to meet the Bangladesh minister to discuss this issue as well. And today, as, as we discussed in Madrid, the Secretary General and I myself agreed to sign the agreement on the implementation of the grant for the repatriation of dis displaced persons to Myanmar. So for this reason, we are gathered here today. Indonesia believes that the ad hoc support team of the ASEAN Secretariat will strengthen the ASEAN role in facilitating the a voluntary, safe, and dignified repatriation of the displaced person to Myanmar. Through this team, there are, we are confident that ASEAN should be able to facilitate the implementation of recommendation of ASEAN era PNA, facilitate the dialogue and communication, and build trust and confidence among relevant parties. In fact, when I talk with the Bangladesh uh, minister, we discuss also about the possible bigger role of ASEAN, including in bridging the communication with those in Cox Bazar, and including also the communication and confidence building measure between Myanmar and Bangladesh. And Bangladesh welcome very much the bigger role played by ASEAN. At the same time, it's also important for Myanmar to continue dialogue and communication with the IDBs in Cox Bazar to build trust and provide up, uh, provide up-to-date information. For Indonesia, ASEAN has no other choice but to contribute in addressing the issue in our neighborhood. We need to work harder collectively to make the repatriation happen soon. This is how ASEAN will remain relevant to maintain peace, stability, and security in our region. And this is the only way ASEAN can contribute to the prosperity of the people. So to conclude, I would like to once again extend my appreciation to all ASEAN member states, the ASEAN Secretariat, the AHA Center, for their relentless of, uh, effort. And let us continue to work closely together in finding the solution for the sake of humanity and looking forward to discussing this issue again at the ASEAN Foreign Minister Retreat uh, next month in uh, Vietnam. So once again, I thank you very much. Her Excellency Ibu Ratno Maswadi, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Bapak Luki Afriman, 
Director General of Budget Financing and Risk Management, the Minister of Finance and of the Republic of Indonesia, Committee Permanent Representative, Senior Official from Kamlu, and my fellow colleagues as well as Ms. Adelina, the Executive Director of the AHA Center. Excellencies, good afternoon. Selamat petang. I am delighted here to be for the signing ceremony of the agreement between the government of Indonesia and the ASEAN on the implementation grants for the repatriation of displaced persons to Myanmar. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Indonesia for organizing this very important event and we look forward to further uh, cooperation in other areas. And as I said, as Ibu Menlu said, we met in uh, Madrid when we discussed this, and I'm very glad that it comes into fruition. This agreement is a significant milestone in our ongoing collective efforts to support the government of Myanmar in facilitating the repatriation process and promoting sustainable development in Rakhine State. It is also a manifestation of Indonesia's strong support in enhancing ASEAN visibility in Rakhine State. We are disinmined today's agreement will enhance trust and confidence in ASEAN's efforts in addressing the humanitarian situation there. The establishment of the ad hoc team of the ASEAN team of the ASEAN Secretariat, this ad hoc support team will assist the ASEAN Secretariat in implementing the plenary needs assessment recommendations. Apart from the seven prioritized activities which needs to be implemented immediately, there are 30 more projects in the pipelines. The future workload remains huge. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to the government of Myanmar for their cooperation in this process and for facilitating the ad hoc support team in the future. I would like to once again to express my sincere thanks to the Government of the Republic of Indonesia for this grant. I do hope that the Government of Indonesia's goodwill in this matter will encourage other member states to support the Secretariat and ASEAN's efforts in the, for the benefit of peace and stability in the region. Thank you very much. I hope and wish with this uh, grant contribution the pre preliminary need assessments will be done very well. With this, I'd like to thank for this signing ceremony made head of this uh, very noble uh, intention of repatriation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency.